Dan, the Bears are two and one, and I picked them to win four total games. So no one's more surprised at their standing right now than I am. He's Dan Wiederer from the Chicago Tribune. I'm Dan Miller from ABC7. Are you surprised where this Bears team is at right now? No, but they have an opportunity on Sunday to go to three and one against the New York Giants team that's also two and one and surprised to be there. And so there's a lot that is going on here in the early season that allows the Bears to build some confidence and some momentum. They're starting a stretch of four road games and five games here in the month of October. They're going to have to be very sharp to keep things going. But even if they only won two of these five games in October, they're still four and four headed to the midpoint of the season. And that feels pretty good uh, for an organization that understands its place in the pecking order here. Look, there's a lot that needs to be worked on. You're aware of that. I'm aware of that. The quarterback is number one on that list. But hey, to be able to win while you're growing is certainly a nice plus for this team. Overreaction that people are having nightmares about Justin Fields and already yeah. thinking maybe he isn't he isn't going to be the guy? It depends on how far you take your worry. So the worry is totally justified. The rush to turn that into a verdict on what he can be long term, that's a little bit of an overreaction, I think. I think we're, we're three games in to year two with a new staff, with new playmakers, with new uh, systems and, and a new offensive line around him. So we got to give the, the the patience that is required for this, but certainly Justin has to meet his end of the bargain and produce. When's the last time the Bears are favored on the road? I mean, this this is truly a golden opportunity. As you mentioned, you think they pull it off? So I have picked them. I've picked them to win 23 to 19. And uh, wow. some of this is just uh, looking kind of in a mirror at what the Giants look like, right? They've got a reliable running game. They've got a quarterback who isn't all that protected. Uh, behind the offensive line, they've got a receiving core that's entirely depleted and doesn't have a lot of game-breaking options there. They've got a, a defense that'll challenge you in certain ways, but I, I think the Bears have enough here. And I think Matt Eberflus has just talked a lot about the mental toughness, right, and the, and the stamina and focus of this team to be able to dig out close games in the fourth quarter. They showed that against the Texans for sure. I think they can show it again in New York. And, the, and again, if you you get on that plane Sunday night and you're three and one, feel good vibes are very meaningful for this organization. Even if it looks ugly, I will take it. He's Dan. I'm Dion. We'll see you next time. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.